Which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? Jamaican British artist Willard Wiggin is known for his remarkable blank, so small they are best viewed through a microscope. Wiggins' sculptures are made from tiny natural materials, such as spiderweb strands. So, option A says, Microsculptures, Microsculptures, Creations. This is incorrect because this would result in a run-on sentence, where this first sentence, Jamaican British artist Willard Wiggin is known for his remar remarkable sculptures, is one independent clause, and the second part, the creations, so small they are best viewed through a microscope, wig and sculptures are so and so. So these are two independent clauses and a, there is no compunctuation to connect them. So A would be incorrect. B. Microsculptures, comma, creations. This is incorrect because these are two independent clauses, so there must be a comma and a conjunction, but here there's only a comma, so this would result in a comma splice, and therefore B is incorrect. C. Microsculptures, period, creations. This seems to be the correct answer because this splits it into two independent sentences and these are two independent clauses so they can be split into two independent sentences and furthermore the second sentence would make sense grammatically where it ha says creations so small they are best viewed through a microscope wigan sculptures are made from so and so. So this second sentence makes sense when it is split into two sentences so C likely is the correct answer. D. Microsculptures and creations. This is incorrect because to connect two independent clauses, there needs to be a comma and a conjunction, not just a conjunction or not just a comma. And in this case, there's only a conjunction, so D is incorrect. And therefore, the correct answer is C.